The agreement sets up a five-man disputes board, comprising two union and two employer representatives and an independent chairman. The agreement is aimed at preventing minor industrial disputes escalating into major ones and is expected to save the building industry and the unions millions of dollars, reducing the incidence of industrial unrest, which boosts building costs and costs workers their wages. Intend to pay the fine that's uh, still outstanding? The union does not intend to pay the fines out of its own funds. We've set up a public appeal in which we've uh, already received over $15,000 and uh, the fines will be paid out of that fund. I want to uh, stress once again it will not come out of union funds nor will any union money be used to pay it. Can you say who actually contributed that money? No, but I think there's no who would contribute to, uh, to such a fund. Employers who don't want further industrial reaction perhaps? Well, I don't think any employer in this industry wants to have a fight with this union at the present time. There's too many got problems with high interest rates, liquidity problems, and uh, there's no doubt that uh, they want an easy way out. The court has made it clear that the union itself should pay the fines out of its own funds. Do you think that this move you're making will jeopardise the, that there could be further action against you because of this? No. Uh, what we've said is that uh, we will be using the money out of the public appeal fund and we will get our benefactors to pay it. Will you pay the court costs? That's a matter which uh, the... Uh <laughs> Yeah, look, you got a fast footwork, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be seen with you. Yeah, Casey, right. Casey, right. Casey can't even read them. Put your glasses on. He doesn't want to be seen with Gallagher, and I don't want to be seen with Benin. <laughs> 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 He's gone. <laughs> 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 Yes, I've got no doubt that this sort of thing will develop into the wages and conditions uh, area of the building industry and I've got no doubt that uh, unions will move away from the Commission. Well, why would they want to move away from the Commission? Well, first of all, I, I do believe that it's, this industry is quite suitable for collective bargaining, especially uh, on big major projects. And uh, I feel that you're more freer to negotiate across the table with the employers than have to go to the Commission. The bench decided on Wednesday to proceed with the appeal hearing today, but after the Federal Secretary of the Builders' Labourers' Federation, Mr Norm Gallagher, sent a talex to the President of the Commission, Sir John Moore, protesting that the Union wouldn't have enough time to prepare its case. Sir John agreed that today's hearing would only decide the dates for future hearings. The texts of Mr Gallagher's talex and that of Sir John Moore's talex were read to the Court this morning. Sir John's talex largely took the decision of deciding what dates the Court would sit on the appeal out of the hands of the three-man full bench. Mr Gallagher told Sir John Moore that the union wanted to call many witnesses and needed time to contact them. The text of Mr Gallagher's talex reads, We're not trying to delay the appeal, but to be compelled to present the case tomorrow is to deny a reasonable period for fair and adequate presentation of the case. It would mean a denial of natural justice. The decision of the stay order, which we intend to follow, was not meant to deny us this justice. We therefore ask that the appeal be set down later next week to give us two or three days to prepare. Sir John Moore replied, In view of your request, the matter will be listed tomorrow, only to discuss future programming. The union's advocate, Mr Jim Capagreco, told the full bench today that the... Hif right, OK, can you button up? Only to discuss future programming. The union's advocate, Mr Jim Capagreco, told the full bench today that if the hearing continued this afternoon, the BLF wouldn't take part. The Stop. Hang on. 
Only to, oh. Only to discuss future programming. The union's advocate, Mr Jim Capagreco, told the bench today that if the hearing continued this afternoon, the union wouldn't take part. Counsel for the state government, Mr Ian Douglas QC, said the BLF wanted to cause the longest possible delay to the Commission handing down its decision on the appeal. After a brief adjournment, Deputy President McKenzie said that after tomorrow, members of the bench would be unavailable until next Thursday. He then adjourned the hearing until next Thursday and said it would sit next Saturday and Sunday if necessary in an attempt to finish the appeal because of its public importance. In Melbourne, this is Mike Sutherland reporting. The bench decided on Wednesday to proceed with the appeal today, but after the Federal Secretary of the Builders Labourers Federation, Mr Norm Gallagher, sent a telex to the President of the Commission, Sir John Moore, com The bench decided to proceed with the case today. Oh, schweps. Can you button off? The bench decided to proceed with the appeal on Wednesday, but after the Federal Secretary of the Builders Labourers Federation, Mr Norm Gallagher, sent a telex to the President of the Commission, Sir John Moore, yesterday, protesting that the union wouldn't have enough time to prepare its case. Sir John agreed that today's hearing would only decide the dates of future hearings. The texts of Mr Gallagher's talex and that of Sir John Moore's talex were read to the court this morning. Sir John Moore's talex largely took the decision of deciding which dates the case would be heard on out of the hands of the three-man full bench. Mr Gallagher told Sir John Moore that the union wanted to call many witnesses and needed time to prepare its case. The text of Mr Gallagher's talex reads, We're not trying to delay the appeal, but to be compelled to present the case tomorrow is to deny a reasonable period for fair and adequate presentation of the case. It would mean a denial of natural justice. The decision of a stay or button off. Button off. And needed time to contact them. The text of Mr Gallagher's Talex reads, We're not trying to delay the appeal, but to be compelled to present the case tomorrow is to deny a reasonable period for a fair and adequate presentation of the case. It would mean a denial of natural justice. The decision of a stay order, which we intend to follow, was not meant to deny us this justice. We therefore ask that the appeal be set down later next week to give us two or three days to prepare. Sir John Moore replied, in view of your request, the matter will be listed tomorrow only to discuss the future programming. The union's advocate, Mr Jim Capagreco, told the full bench today that if the hearing continued this afternoon, the union wouldn't take part. Counsel for the state government, Mr Ian Douglas QC, said the BLF wanted to cause the longest possible delay to the Commission handing down its decision on the appeal. After a brief adjournment, Deputy President McKenzie said that after tomorrow, members of the bench would be unavailable until next Thursday. He said the... Can you button off? The union would not take part. Counsel for the State Government, Mr Ian Douglas QC, said the BLF wanted to cause the longest possible delay to the Commission handing down its decision on the appeal. After a brief adjournment, Deputy President McKenzie said that after tomorrow, members of the bench would be unavailable until next Thursday. He then adjourned the hearing until next Thursday, but said it would sit next Saturday and Sunday, if necessary, in an attempt to finish the hearing because of its public importance. In Melbourne, this is Mike Sutherland reporting.
morning. Ha ha ha! I want to see the value, you know? 